You know how many councils are going to extreme lengths to deal with cuts? Well, one London borough is going further than most by using animals to cut the grass. Havering Council has brought in a group of red pole cattle to Bedford's Park to keep the grass there trim over the summer. Martin Stew went to meet the cows on the council payroll. Maintaining 215 acres of Bedford's Park either requires a lot of manpower or a lot of help. Here we go. Here we go. The latest assistance comes in the shape of a small herd of red pole cattle. Eleven placid cows and docile bulls bought in to graze and keep the park as natural as possible. Well, the cattle are the traditional method, of course. The, the principle really is with the cattle grazing, you get a mixture in the, in the structure and you get a mixture of plants, which is exactly what you want for the, the mixture of wildlife that you're trying to attract. So it, it's key for sustaining an area like this. With wildflower meadows having declined by 97% since the 30s, it's vital to protect this green space so close to London. We know we've got 155 different species of wildflower here, which are also so important for lots of other wildlife, including invertebrates and other small mammals, reptiles and amphibian species. As well as helping nature, these cattle could save the council £300,000 over 10 years. A few reports in the papers that having these cattle is going to take other people's jobs because you're not going to be employing the grass mowers. Is, is that the case? I can categorically deny that. No jobs will be lost. Anyone that uh, will be used elsewhere in, in, in our borough. We're the most greenest borough in all the 32 London boroughs. We, we can use people all the time. Reviving old techniques is nothing new in Havering. Last autumn, they used a Suffolk punch horse to clear woodland in the borough. The council hopes others will now follow their lead in championing traditional ways to protect London's wild spaces. Well, it was a lovely day to be hanging out with the cattle, wasn't it? Yeah, gorgeous sunny weather, and no surprise that the stats are through it. Looks like July may be one.